What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here. And today we're gonna to be testing how does magnesium react with an iPhone 6? So I've got about five pounds of magnesium that I'm gonna be testing the reaction with the iPhone 6. Now magnesium is being increasingly used in household appliances, cars even. So theoretically, say you get in an accident, your iPhone ends up on a pile of magnesium from all the wreckage of the car. Is it gonna be able to survive, take another selfie another day? I just wanna see how this thing fares against five pounds of magnesium. So over here, I've got a control, pretty much just a little bit on a smaller scale to see how does magnesium react? Uh, this thing burns at up to 5,610 degrees. That's almost five times the melting temperature of aluminum. So I'm really curious to see how an iPhone 6 is gonna hold up to a quick burst of five pounds of magnesium lighting up. Now to add to that, we've got water. Now what water does is when it touches burning magnesium, it'll actually make hydrogen, further enhancing that flame. So it could even turn into a massive explosion. Anyways, so right here, I've got a little bit small scale. This is the tub we're gonna be filling with five pounds and pretty much just gonna try this one out first, uh, see how it reacts and magnesium, oh man, this thing, this thing really likes fire, burns real fast. So this is pretty much fire starter. It's all it is, but compacted. So we're gonna light it on fire, let it burn for a bit. And uh, as you guys know, magnesium is actually capable of burning underwater. I'm gonna pour the water on it and see how it reacts with all that hydrogen gas in there as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so safety first, of course. Here I've got my ultraviolet welding mask. This protects your eyes. Magnesium produces a lot of ultraviolet waves and of course, safety. So here we've got my fire extinguisher all ready to go. Let's do this. <laughs> so that is the reaction of magnesium. The test, as you guys can see, was quite violent. So uh, that was to be expected. Looks like most of the magnesium did burn up. This is our little survivor. So if this, I mean, a can's of course less structurally sound, but I have a feeling a lot of the iPhone is gonna melt as well. So curious. Let's go ahead and uh, step this up to the official thing. So that was just a 30 to 50 gram test. Now, can this iPhone 6 survive compared to five pounds? So uh, just to give you an idea of compared to that, how much we have here and uh, I feel like I'm opening up cocaine. So uh, yeah, we got quite a bit in here, guys. Let's make this good. So uh, let's go ahead and start setting this up. Well, good thing uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no way anything could catch on fire. All right, so uh, let's put this guy in and pour the rest over them. All right. All right, so we got this thing chock full of uh, magnesium packed down. There's over five pounds in there and our poor little iPhone on the very bottom. So the chances are, will it survive? Probably not. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this happens. This is a little bit scary to be honest, but let's do this. Go, go. And this is just about where the science ends. Our entire contraption was ruined. And folks, this is why you should never, ever pour water on a magnesium fire. Okay, now put it out, man. Go, go, go. 
Dude, this won't go out. <laughs> the iPhone is most likely not going to survive. Damn. We bought the wrong fire extinguisher. And at this point, safe to say, if the iPhone was even found inside, all we'd find is a melted carcass of aluminum. And it's kind of sad because I expected it to survive, but oh my gosh, this fire just burned way too high. And when it comes to putting out magnesium, it is not easy. Just when you think it's out, you shift it a little bit and boom. All right, so we managed to finally dig it out. And uh, safe to say, if your car is burning on fire, probably shouldn't go after your iPhone if it's still in there. Well, the lithium battery was intact, which is what surprised me. This thing is not gonna live to take another selfie, unfortunately. So uh, there you guys go. When uh, magnesium and iPhones fight, magnesium certainly is the winner. So guys, you may ask why? Well, the answer is why not? And it prevents you guys from trying this out to see for yourself. So of course, do not try this out for yourselves. Magnesium is highly flammable, very difficult to put out. And if you guys do happen to have five pounds of magnesium just sitting there and you wanna test out if your iPhone will survive, well, it will not. And it will not survive a fiery magnesium car accident either. Guys, this video was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Be sure to check out some of the similar videos on my channel. I like doing something different a little bit once in a while. Uh, again, do hope you enjoyed this just as much as I did making it. Have a great day, guys. Peace.